Hello, a follow-up video, Louisiana Beer Reviews. You wanted to do natural light, no? Natural light. And the reason why I want to do this is because I know there's a lot of people out there that like, I don't know, Mick Ultra or even Mick Light. If you can get Mick Light still. Ah, at Dorn Max. Right. But Total it's like I tell everyone all the time when I see him pick up at that Mick Ultra. Do you realize that this was put in the same vessel that Michelob was put in back in the 70s and it's actually pushed right next to it as being a lighter version? So with that well, said... I, I don't know about all that, but I knew Natural Light was the first light beer that Anheuser-Busch made. Well, it's because they had to combat Miller Light. Right. Right. And exactly. then later, Coors Light came around. 78. Right. 78. So we're going to go ahead and try this. I mean, natural light. You're not really expecting a whole lot with natural light. No. It has now been graduated to a, a budget. But it used to not budget. be a budget beer. I mean, no, I was a little kid. It was, it was marketed right next to Michelob. And Michelob was considered to be a top line beer. When I was uh, 10 years old, this was a premium That's beer. It. You remember the commercials? You can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay, mm -hmm. but she doesn't have to call me Johnson. <laughs> Bizarre so, videos. So these... If you look at it, you get you, you're gonna get you already know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get something that's light, minimum, 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 and minimum dry. alcohol and dry. Right, dry. It's gonna be minimal color, minimal flavor. So it's minimal. So what does that tell you? No flavorings, no coloring. Right. No flavor. So this is something you know. If, if it's a hot day, long war day, out in the yard cutting grass, you're like, well, I need a beer. It's actually kind of warm today. Well, I'm wearing to a get sweatshirt. Like, well, it's because you're wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm like kind of hot, you know. Well, it's 70 degrees outside. Who wears it? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and check this out. It is straw clear. You can't get, that, that even looks lighter than Bud Light. <laughs> Which, this the same company makes that Bud Light is, makes that this. That is so pale. That is pale, pale. It comes with it's got a nice white head that kind of lingers around like like a lemon meringue. Can I see the can? I want to get the uh, yeah the uh, calorie count. Kind of, it is coming in at uh, you know a nice little uh, patriotic red, white, and blue silver can with the big eagle on it. The good thing about this beer is the calorie count is um, and it's cheap. Ninety five. Oh my god, this is so cheap. Ninety five calories. Um, so with, with, with the price and all that, you think... Wow, the Best Buy date is awesome on this. This is pretty fresh. Sorry. Glad you got excited there. <laughs> yeah, it's like the freshest beer we had today. Okay, so you said the best thing about this beer is... It's, it's, it's cheap. It's affordable. You, you can get this stuff. They sell, they sell around here in 30 packs, 15 packs. It's it's lingering between, I don't 40 know... 40 ounce bottles. $9 to $9.50. To ten for fifteen pack, anywhere is from eighteen to twenty for thirty packs. Thirty packs, forty ounce bottles. You can get it for forty ounce. Yeah. Then, then you're really dedicated to it. <laughs> I bet they got people that go to barbecues and drink three forty ounce bottles of it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but I said I bet they have people that do do that. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the nose on a smell. So it recommend it like. such a practice. It smells. It does have an aroma. It's like really faint. It's like a light graininess going on with it. <laughs> right, I was about yeah. to say a faint grain. Yeah. Not really smelling any hops or barley malt. No. Water, barley malt, hops, yeast, Boy. corn, rice. Yeah. All right, it's, cheers. Let's it's a multi grain beer. Cheers. They say drink multi grain, or I'm sorry, eat multi grain. <laughs> it tastes like beer water. It's so thin. Yeah. It reminds me of the days when my grandfather used to take Dixie. Which is why I drank Natty Ice. <laughs> it would be in the middle of summer. And he'd say, oh, I need to get a cup of ice with my Dixie. I go, why are you getting a cup of ice with your Dixie? Well, I just pour it all over the top of it. So the old timers used to take ice. And <laughs> so they had, they had the fancy uh, brand new refrigerator <laughs> from Sears, the big old Kenmore and that. And you get those half moon ice cubes Ken come out of it. Kenmore, yeah. <laughs> and put those in there. And he said, pour his Dixie over it. Oh, it's so good. Uh, it, it, you want to taste some? And I taste it. And that's what this tastes like. This tastes like watered down B12 
beer. When I, we were in the summer back in 1998, my grandmother and I were in Arizona yeah, on this highway between Las Vegas and Phoenix. We stopped at this restaurant. She was like, I want a beer. I was like, okay. So I think it was Red Dog. And I don't know why the restaurant had Red Dog, but back, I guess back in the 90s, Red Dog was kind of respected. Red so, Dog, Red Miller, Miller Red. And, so yeah, they brought so her a glass, and she said, can I have some ice? They said, sure. And so they, they brought a glass with ice in it, and she poured the Red Dog over the ice. And I was, like, look, I was looking at her like, are you crazy? And she's like, it was like really hot, you know. Oh, that's so good. I was like, I've never seen anybody drink beer over ice before. I guess it's just as people that generation did that. I don't see my grandfather. She was born in 1927, so I don't know. Maybe he was born. Well, no, he was born earlier than that, but probably in the 20s. But I, I just, I never forget that we were on that highway and at at that restaurant, she drank the uh, beer over ice. Maybe they knew each other. Now I just think, like you're saying, it's like a generational thing, you know. Yeah. Now, I see no one do that today. It's this is okay. I mean. If it's, I was looking know, to drink a light beer, I never would. It's not be. such a bad flavor. I'm not detecting anything off with it. No, the point I was going to make is that if I was looking to drink a light beer, and I would never be looking to do that, I drink nat natural ice. Yes, yes. But um, I would get this over just any other light beer. It's no worse. It's not. People, I know people that would say, I never drink that. I drink more Bud Light. Well, I like to like clearly Bud Light like is not as good as what, this. What I find with Bud Light, as opposed to what I'm tasting right now, is Bud Bud Light to me tastes very bready. This has got hints of beerness in it. You know it's a beer because you get in, you know you taste the flavor profile. Uh, but anything that's kind of stepping out that makes this beer heavy or beer, you're not really getting that. So. Um, Okay, honestly, I don't think Bud Light is worse than this, but when you consider the price point, I don't think it's better. But when you consider the price, it's no way. I mean, it's like why would I pay three dollars more a six pack for Bud Light when this is maybe better than Bud Light? Yeah, this this comes out to be like sixty cents a can. In it's some like, cases, it might be cheaper than that if you get it. Deal. And my father, I can remember back in like 1996, his friend would come over and they would hang out, watch baseball. And my father would tease him because he would drink natural light. He'd say, you're drinking that cheap stuff. And I used to tell my father back then, I'd say, but it ain't really any worse. It's like the same. It is the same. And his friend Warren would say, natural light is good. You know, you, like he was a telling my father, you're the fool for buying Coors Light. You're paying like way more a, a, a suitcase. Yeah. And I was like, you're right. You're actually I gotta, right. I, gotta, I agree yeah, with that. I got I to gotta agree on with that. This goes back to me saying that if you like it, if it tastes good, what, I mean, who, who cares, man? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up by saying, why are you drinking Coors Light when you could be drinking Keystone Light? Why are you drinking Bud Light when you could be drinking Natural Light? Why are you drinking Miller Light when you could be drinking Miller High Life Light? Does that make sense? It's like they're all just as good, but they're way cheaper. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it's the truth. So how would you score this? For a light beer? Oh. <laughs> it's in the 90s, by the 91. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to give it a 90. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, it's not spectacular or anything, but it's, it's style and it's profile. It's just... Like I said, it's it's like watered down beer. And to be uh, fair, I never drank light beer. I mean, and it's it's crisp, clean. There's n there's no dirtiness to it at all. No. Uh -huh. So I, I'd say it's a good beer. You know, you judge for yourself. You're gonna save some money by getting this. A lot of money. And uh, you know, the good thing about maybe picking up one of those 15 packs, if you were a group of people, you, you know, you could share it with them. You could say, oh, well, you know. Uh, Jay David on, on Louisiana Beer Reviews said, go ahead and try this, you know. And it's and if you don't like it, you're not really investing a whole lot of money. I've seen four packs of beers out there that wind up tasting like crap. <laughs> right. That they, they cost less money than 15, 15 of these. Taste, and I'm telling oh, you, these oh, you mean, are you mean the ones that good. taste like the cereal at the bottom of the bowl with the milk? 
Yeah, in some cases, yeah, they separate and they're too thick and you get to chase them with something else to scale oh. down. You can get this in bottles, you can get this in cans, mm -hmm. maybe on draft. Uh, you, yeah, you can order kegs of it. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. Yeah. So, uh, whatever, you know, I'm I've cool been, with I've been to a lot of crawfish bowls where they'll, they'll, they'll sneak this in and call it Bud Light. Oh, yeah, because they save $30. Yeah, because they save $30. Yeah, they save some money. Oh, yeah, this is Natty Light, but don't tell them we're going to call it Bud Light. And they put it out there and they put a little Bud Light thing on it. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. It's cold. Oh, I haven't tasted Bud Light like, like this in a long time. And you're sitting there going, <laughs> right. I, I know, because uh, the Albertsons and Baton Rouge used to sell kegs of Paps. And it's a, the same kind of thing, you know, they're getting the Paps. Blue Ribbon really cheap, and they're bringing it to a crawfish bowl, and they're saying, what you got? Oh, you know, whatever. And they're drinking it. Yeah, this is real beer. And they're like, it's Paps, you know. They don't right. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Pass, Louisiana. Drink better beers.